Well, boys and girls, we've wrapped up winning the Premier League. We've won the big one as well, the Community Shield. Now we're just going to try and win the FA Cup. We don't really care about the FA Cup. The main thing is we want that Champions League win. We want to, and I think this will do this, we want to justify spending two and a half billion pounds on this squad. If you weren't here at the end of last night's stream and you haven't caught up on the Lujo 2, that feels like a you problem. There's so many ways you can keep up with the save. Um, but we did win the league. We've got five games left. Kev, hashtag Kev's math, Kev Maths. Haaland has got 24 goals in 21 appearances because he is ridiculous. And uh, we have got Bayern in the semi-final of the Champions League. So I guess job number one is get this next Premier League game out of the way. Oh, yeah, I forgot we were down to nine men, weren't we? So, Gradiol and Bellingham are both suspended. And Diogo Costa's out for two to three weeks. So, Camille Grabara is going to be in goal for both games against Bayern. That could potentially cause problems. Well, I don't even... Why would we have a shout? Who have I ever needed to shout out before? If I want to shout somebody out, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm old school. If I want to shout someone out, I'll shout it. Not type it down in the chat. It, seem, it seems like a cop-out solution to type it down in the chat when you can actually use your words to express your gratitude. Should we give a rare start to Robert Sanchez or should we get Camille Grabara up to match fitness? That's probably the higher priority, isn't it? Get him game time. So actually, we will start Grabara. Um, <laughs> shall we play Scalvini as a roaming playmaker? Do we think he can do it? I mean, I'm all for playing the reserves. I don't know that we should be playing our uh, our six foot four centre back as a roaming playmaker. So we might just change that one. You have to pay for it. I mean, indirectly, you know. <laughs> it's quite scary getting the. I remember when I did my sleep study. I shared the results on here. I can't remember exactly how it was, but I'm pretty sure. There was there were several hundred incidents every hour where I just stopped breathing. So, you know, it's quite nice knowing I'm less likely to die in my sleep. Anna's was Anna's was not not worse, but not better. She had far fewer incidents of not breathing, but there was one point during the night where she wasn't breathing for like 90 seconds on hers, which is like I'm not sure if she was still alive. I'm going to go get a haircut tomorrow, hopefully. Get the beard trimmed down and then it will just seal nicely on again and the snoring will stop again. But yeah, it basically wipes snoring out. But it's um, it also allows me to, when me and Sheepdog share a hotel room when we're travelling, it allows me to convince him that I'm dead because I'll... <laughs> I'll put my CPAP mask on. I'll put my noise cancelling headphones on and then pull the blanket up over my head and lie on my back with my arms across my chest and just go to sleep like that. Because obviously, if you've got the air constantly coming in a pipe, you don't need to have the, uh, you don't need to have the, the blanket. You don't, you can have the blanket completely over your head. So I can be plunged into complete sensory deprivation, noise cancelling headphones, complete darkness seemingly no access to air and he went to the toilet i got myself set up like that and went to sleep and basically come out of the toilet and thought i was dead <laughs> and these things amuse me right shall we go and beat bayern munich i think we shall musiala hat trick incoming That's not an ideal start. I know when I spoke to the cardiologist recently about my heart stuff, they wanted to they wanted me to do another um another ECG before they referred me back for the MRI again because they were um they just wanted to check if I had atrial fibrillation and I said, "Look, I've got an Apple Watch. I wear it every day. I've had zero instance of atrial fibrillation in 2 years." And they say, oh, if you've got the Apple Watch, that's fine. That's that's as good as our gear. We don't you don't need to go for that. So it might be they have the same thing with um with sleep apnea if you've got an Apple Watch. A bit risky shuffling the system around for a game like this, but we've lost both of our inverted wing backs. I hope James isn't properly injured because Timber's out for the season, I think. As he always seems to be. Semi long throw incoming to Haaland. And now it's Pino again. Get it in the area. 
What's Tamori doing up there? I thought I moved him on to inverted fullback. He looks like he's playing as an inverted wingback. Erling Haaland. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, we're just checking on the formation here. No, Tamori definitely should be playing as an inverted fullback. We'll keep an eye on him. Items that close to the sink don't seem to make sense. Yeah, but there's nowhere else to put them. That's where the plugs are. It's a strange layout. How has that happened? But then when I went up to make my lunch, I went to turn the light on in the kitchen and nothing happened. I opened the fridge, no light comes on. And uh, there was no power at all in the kitchen. Went up to the next floor, to the bedroom, no power in there. So I guess our middle and top floor on a separate circuit to this floor, because I was in here with power all morning. And Anna was in the living room with power all morning. Um, so yeah, our fridge and freezer and everything were off for like four or five hours. Ketchup would have to be thrown out. It would have got warm. What kind of sick pervert wants cold ketchup on their hot meal? Fridge cold ketchup on their warm plate of food. That literally is deviant behaviour. I don't know what's wrong with people. I'm just going to put an ice cube on my meal. Idiots. <laughs> Put ketchup on the plate first, then microwave the plate, then plate the food up. I mean, I I hope you're joking. I, by the way, I've ordered a microwave, everybody. I have ordered a microwave. The day has arrived. Well, it hasn't. It's not coming till Saturday. But I have ordered it. It's not a Ninja. Ninja don't do a microwave. It's, uh, I don't even know, Toshiba, I think. I realise I could have waited for Black Friday, but I bought a box of, the, what is it? Is it oh, so simple? Is that the porridge stuff? Am I thinking of the name right there? I bought a box of that and I want to have my porridge for breakfast. It's porridge weather. And I need a microwave to make it. So balls to waiting for Black Friday. I've missed out on porridge every morning this week. I need a microwave. Or make it in a pan. Why on earth would I want to create a horrible, sticky, impossible to clean pan every day? You'll be telling me you make scrambled eggs in a pan next. Anything that sticks to the pan goes in a microwave. Kettle is better than a pan and microwave. You can't make the, the sachets in a uh, with the kettle. You have to buy the pots to do it in the kettle. And the pots cost like two quid a portion. Which is, I mean, I know I'm an extravagant man, but that's pure insanity. Just crack a few eggs into a jug, whoosh them up a bit, put it in the microwave for a minute, take it out, smash them up a bit more, back in the microwave for 30 seconds, smash them up one more time, it's fine. It's smashed up bits of egg. That's what I want. It's also a healthier way to do it because I don't have to use any butter or oil or anything. It's just smashed up hot egg. I think the only reason people wouldn't do their scrambled eggs in a microwave is if they're a food snob and they've never tried it because they don't think you can do it right. Unless you like those weird, horrible... Egg soup French scrambled eggs that are basically like sloppy, horrible, custardy. The ones, whatever you, whatever you're on TikTok and you see a chef making scrambled eggs properly and it just looks like they're pouring custard onto their toast. Hideous. My, my entire way of eating for the rest of my life now, is minimising things like butter and salt and all of the things that are going to kill me. I found a way to make eggs that I don't have to add anything to other than a little bit of hot sauce that I enjoy eating. The only thing I fear is dying because just the prospect of me not existing anymore, I just can't get my head to understand it. It's like, ugh! I just don't know. I can't process the thought of not existing. Sounds horrible. The well, foodstuffs not. Yeah, exactly. Anyone who says they're disgusting in the microwave hasn't tried them in the microwave because they're absolutely fine. Obviously, obviously they taste better if you make them on the hob with loads of uh, with loads of butter. But again, young people, there'll come a time in your life <laughs> where it's very rare that you prepare a meal based on what tastes the nicest. <laughs> There comes a point where you just have to eat the stuff that's going to keep you alive longer. How tough is it having the riches of Chelsea in one save than not being able to afford a pencil sharpener with Tamworth? It actually keeps keeps some variety. It's quite nice. I like a bit of variety. Oh, hiccups now. 
I'll work for you, Kev. What, on my toasted sandwich van? But you're a proper chef, aren't you? I think your skills might be a little bit ahead of me just wanting to do my trademark toasty, which is, and you'll like this, boys and girls, this one's going in the cookbook. When I make the cookbook, this one, this one's going to be quite early on because it's one of the best things I make. It's you need a you need a proper toasty maker. So a proper like, you know, if you're British, you know what I mean. A proper toasty maker. We're not making paninis here, boys and girls. We're not doing this in a pan. This has got to be in a proper toasty maker. A couple of pieces of wholemeal bread, the thinnest scraping of butter or olive spread or whatever you're using at the moment just to stop it sticking to the thing uh, but then in it you'll like this boys and girls in it we're gonna have a little dabbling of marmite a little bit of marmite in there canned mushrooms canned sliced mushrooms it's not the same without with it's not the same with fresh mushrooms canned sliced mushrooms garlic powder and a little bit of cheese and it's amazing. Garlic, mushroom, cheese, and marmite toasty. It's delicious. Failing that, I do like a good mackerel toasty. A mackerel toasty is delicious. But yeah, my toasty shop will only do the good flavours. So mackerel, sardine, mushroom, canned mushroom. Draw the line at Worcester sauce, get mackerel, marmite, and whatever. I mean, I'll put the Worcester sauce in ahead of instead of marmite. It's fine. I can use them interchangeably. I just don't need both. They're both they're they're redundant. They're both doing the same thing. You might as well throw some soy sauce and some salt in there as well. Just really, really overdo it with the same flavour over and over again. Air fryer cheese and bean toasty. It's not going to be as good as doing it in the toasty maker. Cheese and beans is a is another good toasty though. I'll give you that. Come on. We're talking about healthy food, and here I am ordering a pizza from Domino's. Get the veggie one. You're fine. The veggie one's not too bad. We're going to win the Champions League, boys and girls. We're riddled with injuries, but look at us go. 5-2 up. Come on. Thoughts on beans on toast? Um, I don't mind it. I'm not a massive fan. I, I can't think of many scenarios where I'm going to choose to have it. Anna likes it. It's just there to bulk out your food. <laughs> Erling Haaland. Beans are made, but the tomato sauce is disgusting. I mean, it's not. It's just sugar. It's just sugar. As you all know, I like a couple of spoons of cold straight out of the tin baked beans on my salads. Bam, bam, bam. Ba -bum -bum. Who are we playing? Liverpool or Milan? Is Slanina still our player? Hold on. Hold on. Oh my word, he's still a Chelsea player. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Goodness me. Right, this is the FA Cup final, boys and girls. So I guess we should put the first team out. The reason I stream a couple of hours after my YouTube videos have come out is because I, I put the video out, get wound up by the comments for a couple of hours, and then come on here to take out my frustrations on you lot. It's a, it's a winning system. Without you having to read the words, tells you that we're having money problems. YouTube. Zealand's currently playing extended highlights. Clickbait. I mean, it's literally not clickbait. Because clickbait is when you do that and then the video isn't representative of what's on the thumbnail. What I'm doing is using the thumbnail to communicate to you what the video is about. That's what thumbnails are for. That's not clickbait. That's literally the purpose of thumbnails. We are doing quite well. So it's not a bad thing that I'm being restricted a little bit by the wage budget. Try and ask him for more budget. The button's not literally not even there. So I must have done it at some point. I'd not really paid attention to the fact I was doing it, but the button's not even there. I saw a really interesting video earlier today that went through the entire history of FM up to now. 
And you were mentioned via on-screen graphic as an influential YouTuber. All right, I'll get that taken down for copyright infringement. <laughs> Send me a link, please. They're going to get a cease and desist. I don't remember giving permission for that to happen. See, there's going to be people out there who think I'm serious. They're going to get a copyright claim tomorrow. I'm having the ad revenue off that. We're not running a charity here, boys and girls. Oh, Victor, just let the game end. Oh, that's going to annoy me. I don't care about losing the FA Cup. I do care that I'm going to stand on that and hurt my foot later. Oh, will you all stop getting injured, you plums? One more year! Oh my word, can you imagine? <laughs> well then, that could be very interesting. Topher, I don't care. If I get my first ever tycoon takeover in 30 years of playing football manager, you can be damn sure I am playing a season on it. And it has to happen before the Champions League final as well. It's no good if it happens in July because we'll have already finished the save by then. So it needs to happen in the next week if we're going to carry on. Hey! It took them 24 hours, but they've finally done it. Where did they finish? They finished third and sacked him. I mean, what were they expecting to happen? That's mental. Um, right, Bellingham's not fully fit, but who cares? It's the Champions League final. Let's go win it. I don't know. See, the problem is, whenever I do that, people start being wangs. And I don't really like it when people are wangs. Is there a way to link it somewhere where only subs can see it? To YouTube channel members. Is, I, is Erling Haaland saluting before he takes the penalty? Stick it in the VIP section on Discord. I might do that, yeah. yeah. Right, let's go and win the Champions League. If we can actually get it all working properly, maybe I'll start using it. I used to love forums back in the day. I'd quite like to get an active Discord going. Yeah, so the save file will be linked in that VIP chat section for those of you who want to be able to play the save file. Long throw! It'd be lovely to score the last goal of the save of a long throw. Shoot! Oh, my word, we nearly did. Oh, and there we go, boys and girls. Two and a half billion pounds later. And it was all worth it. Because we've won the Champions League. And now we get to see it all happen from miles away. Where's my little Champions League? Oh, I've lost my trophy. I don't know where my little Champions League trophy has gone. Hey, come on then. Football, football, football. Beautiful stuff. Happy days. Winning the Champions League in FM24 is easy. Admittedly, I did it two years in a row in three seasons at Chelsea last year on the beta without spending nearly this much money. So if it hadn't... There you go. I've, that's my first Champions League win of FM24. Happy days. So I just got a Steam achievement for it. Oh, goody, the Club World Cup. If it hadn't have taken me so long to figure out tactics with the tweaks in FM24, we would have done everything a year sooner. But we wouldn't have signed Harlem. So it was all for the best in the end. But that was it. That's the end of that save. There's nothing else for me to do. But firstly, export the team just in case we do decide to do the, uh, the Lugia Cup. We probably won't. But we'll export the team anyway, just to be safe. And then resign. Retire. Boom. Oh, we'd appreciate if you're willing to postpone your retirement and consider remaining in charge. I've never had this before. This is new. 
I mean, Todd, if I postpone my retirement, I'm just going to not ever log into the save again. So this is interesting. DJ Glover, thank you very much for 37 months. I'm afraid I'm quite keen to leave. Unless you can offer me any reason to stay, I think my time here has come to an end. If he offers me Mbappe. <laughs> if he offers me Mbappe here, we will be willing to increase your transfer budget. Todd, stop it. Stop it, Todd. I just want to see how much he's offering me, and then I'm going to leave anyway. I mean, that's still pathetic, Todd. Sorry. I'm off. Bye.